literally everything is happening all at once i'm like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. we just got over the holidays let's take a, a slow like ease into 2022 Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we are talking all things New Year's, new goals, New Year's resolutions, new year, new me. We are ready for 2022. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about my New Year's resolution for this year. Um, talk a little bit about the one I had last year and the progress I made with that and just exciting things that are gonna be happening in the new year and just kind of what I'm ready to tackle. So without further ado, let's get started. First off, it is January 6th, 2022, so we are almost a week into the new year. I am drinking my emergency because it is a scary place out there in the world, and last thing I want is to get sick this time of year because it is audition season. It is like peak audition season right now, and literally Orlando is exploding with auditions, and they're all happening all at once. It's actually fun because it's makes me feel like it's like a normal year because this is normally what happens like all over the country but because of covid it's kind of like halted everything or canceled auditions and stuff like that i mean it looks a little different this year because there are a lot more submissions and stuff online as opposed to in-person auditions or like maybe just the callbacks are going to be in person like it all depends on the company but i'm busy I'm loving it because I'm ready to tackle the year. My New Year's resolution for this year, I want to be focusing kind of more so on my career this year. Not that I wasn't in years past, but I've noticed that I've gotten a little more pickier with what I audition for and submit for and um, accept. So I kind of want to break that cycle and I want to be less picky with the auditions I go to and just kind of audition for everything and let the world take that information and roll with it. Um, I find that I try to kind of plan out my life as most people do. I kind of like think in my head, like, do I actually think I'm gonna book this? Should I audition for this or not? Um, I try and plan it out. And I've noticed a lot of times my plans don't go as expected. So I'm just gonna try to list audition for everything and what I'm meant to get is what I'm gonna get and I have no control over that and it's fully the casting teams. I'm gonna obviously put my best foot forward and um, just always try to be prepared at auditions but I mean I'll roll with the punches and when I book something and if I have to move schedules around I will do that and I just want to kind of build my resume as much as I can. Um, last year was a really great year for me um, in a lot of aspects. I got to open two new shows and offerings at Legoland. I started working with Universal. I got a survival job I actually really liked and like was good at and made good money doing. I moved into my own apartment as you can see and like I made a lot of progress with this and obviously Cole was a very big part of 2021 for me. We started um, dating and met each other and it's just things have been going really great and we've had a lot of firsts together so this is gonna be exciting to kind of start the new year together and see where the year takes us. Um, but yeah this year I kind of want to just start with um, focusing on myself and my career and do as much as I can to be booked and blessed this year. I got back from an audition today. I submitted a callback yesterday. I have like three or four other auditions happening within the next couple days and it's just like literally everything is happening all at once. I'm like whoa 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 we just got over the holidays. Let's take a, a slow like ease in 2022. No we are going full speed. I just booked a headshot appointment to get my headshots redone because they are like four years old at this point which is like expired for headshots. Um, so I got um, an appointment set for the end of February to get my headshots redone which is a little later than I would have wanted. I would have loved to get them done this month but it's just not going to work out that way. Um, so hopefully those are going to come out really good and give me like a fresh new start, a new look, and give me some more success with auditions since obviously a lot of things you are not in person anymore so you can't really show your personality and your current look that way. You really have to go a lot off of headshots and resumes so you really want those to be like on point with what you look like and what you can do now and my headshot does not um, look like me right now so <laughs> that needs to be fixed. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of feeling really inspired this year. I think when I was auditioning in New York, I was 
super inspired and like just was auditioning for literally everything and just kind of like did it and forgot about it and then like focused on the next audition coming up and it was great because I wasn't as disappointed when I didn't get something and um, then when I did get stuff it was super exciting and I just think in Orlando it's a little harder um, to be in that mindset because everything is a lot smaller and there's not as many opportunities and everyone auditions for the same things so you like see on Facebook like who's getting what and getting offers and callbacks and all that stuff so it does get a little discouraging just to kind of feel left out and like why am I not getting those things so that's always gonna be hard but I mean you like you don't even have a chance of getting something if you don't audition for it so there's no reason for me to be picky and to think oh I'm not gonna book that or I'm not right for that well maybe I am maybe they'll see something in me that I don't and we're just gonna go for it this year my New Year's resolution for last year, um, as you all know, I made a couple videos on it, was focusing all on my mental health. I um, made the resolution to um, tackle my mental health head on and kind of try and get over my anxiety because it was really controlling my life and I really hated that. Um, and obviously I know you probably really can't cure anxiety, but I made leaps and bounds from where I was a year ago. I mean, there were so many things I couldn't do because I would just get way too anxious and end up getting sick from, like, especially having to do with things like going out to eat and like being in public situations and like stuff like that. It was just always a problem and it just kind of snowballed into this big anxiety pit. And I made so much progress and can like go out to eat with ease now. And it's just like so nice to feel so much more relaxed and in control of my body. And I don't know if Cole really had a lot to do with that, but I mean, it seems like as soon as we started dating, like it really like jumped as far as like progress. So that was also really nice. And I have such a great support system with him because um, he knows that I'm feeling anxious or when I'm getting stressed out and he knows how to help me get through those um, episodes and calm down and be able to get a grip on myself and work through it. So it's just always nice to like have someone like that. So. 2021 was a big year full of progress and I am ready for 2022 to be exactly the same if not better but yeah so that is my new year's resolution for this year I know Cole has a resolution kind of a resolution um to be debt free by 23 which he turns 23 this year and that's gonna be in June so he wants to kind of get rid of all of his debt and like get a new car and all that stuff so he's working really hard to kind of achieve those goals which i'm super proud of him for um and i think it's very possible for him to achieve that goal by his birthday in june so that'll be very exciting to see as well and just see where we grow as a couple and um where our life takes us so um as always you guys can always subscribe down below hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on our latest content i post a lot of it here and i hope you guys enjoy all of that you can also follow me on instagram at bgraph100 or tiktok at the same name um, to stay updated on the content there and i will see you guys next week thursday at 6 p.m so bye